All right. Uh, hello, hello. One, two, three. Everything fine? Yeah, okay, just wondering because I, I don't know if this camera is still working. Uh, so we're going to try to making uh, making some steak. Uh, uh. In the meantime, uh, wait, I've got to dry this up. Uh, some, uh, some stuff I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, about uh, mental Ill illnesses and how to treat, uh, you know, uh, people who have, uh, you know, uh, mental problems. Um, I've been reading this book, uh, an interesting book, about, uh, you know, like, people all kinds of mental disorders and stuff. Uh, wait a second, I'm just going to have to clean this up. Okay, the, the steak we're going to make is, uh, it's pretty normal, it's a balsamic... Uh, vinegar with uh, vasilisk and sesame seeds. So let's uh, try it out. I got some meat here. Uh, ground meat and uh, steak. There's a steak. Oh yeah, th this is the book ah, I was thinking about. Um, it has a... Uh, it was written by a psychologist, not a psychiatrist, but so it has uh, the treatments that it proposes for all the disorders uh, it's not medication, it's, it's like uh, therapy. And uh, an interesting uh, a chapter was uh, when he was talking about psychopaths, or he calls them antisocials. Uh, oh, yeah, just in the end here. Uh, well, I don't remember. Wait a minute. Uh, it's a very fascinating book. Uh, where is it? There it is. And, and you have the treatment that he proposes, which I think is very interesting, because usually I hear that uh, it's impossible to treat psychopaths, because they're they're nuts, basically. Um, but uh, this guy has uh, some pretty interesting uh, ideas on how to treat psychopaths, and I think um, what he actually is proposing could be used for other stuff as well uh, that uh, you know is dangerous to society uh, for example pedophiles you know uh, there was this show on NBC called to catch a predator when uh, you know they would uh, you know bust people who want to have sex with minors and all that and uh, so there was this whole discussion about you know is it a mental illness and you know well, uh, how can we help those people how can we treat them uh, do we punish them or do we just try to make them like uh, non-pedophile and, and I think I found a, a solution that by getting inspired from this book from uh, the idea he had about uh, about uh, the antisocials and what he was saying in the book was you know you got someone who's antisocial uh, who's not able to have like normal human emotions like every time he sees someone he doesn't he can't have any affection for, for that person it's always just like you know how can I exploit this person how can I use this person you know so you know the anti-social is going to see everyone basically as an opportunity to to exploit you know it's like there is no room for emotions there is no like it's like uh, if their emotions are completely bland so if you want to treat an anti-social you got to get the, that person to uh, to try and, and get some sympathy for people, to try and, and have a longing for normal human relationships that don't involve, like, you know, um, uh, necessarily, you know, exploiting people or, or using people to your advantage. And so, like, he proposes that, you know, the, the antisocials, you know, in a, clini in a clinic, you kind of, like, lock them up, but completely isolated, okay? And so, like, they don't see anyone. And you, you give them their food and the, through a little hole in the door and stuff like that. And the idea is that eventually, uh, since they're... Comp All right? Okay, I put the, the old battery there. Uh, so I was saying, uh, since those guys are, you know, they get so isolated, uh, the idea is to try and get them to feel, uh, uh, you know, a longing for, for, for people, you know, for human contact. I think this one is... Oh, it's not broken. Because of the coconut thing, uh, you know, it kind of got a little shaky. Anyway, so um, the idea is to get those people to feel longing for human contact, right? So, whoa, fuck! Shit, shit, shit.
No. Oh, I got the wrong burner again. Oh shit, this is the second time. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Alright, it's this one. Yeah, I gotta look at a little drawing here. Okay, this one. Alright. Um, well, uh, my idea with pedophiles is, is I think we can treat pedophiles in the same way. Like, uh, you, you treat pedophiles uh, in order to try and make them, you know, want to have sex with uh, adults. You know, you have this guy who's a pedophile who's attracted to little boys. And the treatment, you know, is to get him to be no longer attracted to little boys, but be actually attracted to to an adult woman. So that's what you want to do. And I think the the treatment that the book proposes for uh, antisocials could be modified or adapted for um, for the pedophiles. Uh, and uh, what you could do is uh, you have this guy, you know, you isolate him in the same way you isolate the uh, the pedophile. Uh, the the antisocial uh, and uh, the thing is that uh, you're gonna you, you know you, you can find boys like pretty much everywhere you're gonna show him pictures of uh, women but uh, you know all you know dressed up and everything so that you know no skin is exposed and at the same time you're gonna find uh, little boys uh, and you're gonna force him to have sex with the little boys okay like you can find them in any poor neighborhood I mean uh, with uh, capitalism, people are so poor that they can, you know, they're willing to give anything for a little, little bit of money. So you go in the poor suburbs of uh, New York City or whatever, and you find uh, the poor families, and you give them a crumb of bread, and so they give up their little boys. And so you have this guy who's a pedophile, and uh, he's locked up in, in that cell, and every day uh, you force him to have sex with like 50 or 60 boys, the little boys, like you know, five or six years old. And um, so what happens then? The guy gets so tired of this, you know, that he just can't stand it anymore. And you keep showing him these pictures of a real woman, uh, an adult woman, and he kind of looks at these pictures like, you know, I've had enough of these boys, please get me out of here, I want a real woman, not a little boy, you know, and he's going to get all mad and everything. And um, I'm going to put this a little hotter, okay. And he gets all mad and everything, and um, so, uh, you know, the idea is that the treatment is success successful when the guy's had enough. You know, he can't stand it anymore, you know? Uh, he's just completely tired. And, you know, when uh, he gets out of there, uh, of that uh, treatment, uh, you know, uh, the he's going to, to be attracted to two women, and he's going to be completely disgusted by little boys. So the treatment is successful. Of course, there's a, an ethical problem uh, in a treatment like that, but, uh, you know, when there's a, an ethical problem with Scientology, can, with uh, psychiatry or psycho psychology, you can leave the, the Scientologists to, uh, to complain about it. Uh, that's what I wanted to say. Anyway, um, but, you know, technically, if there were no ethical boundaries, uh, if, uh, you know, there were no real rules, you know, of human rights and stuff like that, I mean, I think that could work. You get the guy, you know, you give him so much of what he wants that he gets tired of it. Um, so anyway, um, I was thinking about a few things. Uh, you know, uh, there are countries in which it's illegal to be gay, right? Uh, you know, countries in which it's illegal to masturbate, stuff like that. And I was wondering, you, you live in a country in which it's illegal to be gay, and you wonder, how did, how did they enforce that? I mean, imagine you live in one of those countries, and uh, you're going to be like... Uh, Wait a minute. I'm gonna put the flaws or else the boiling oil is gonna go all over my hand. See? It's true. And so, um, like you call the cops and say, you know, I suspect that my neighbor is gay, you know? And so, like, the, the cops, you know, they're gonna, um, they're, they're not gonna arrest him because they have no evidence. But they're going to detain him in order to gather up the evidence, you know. And I wonder what goes on in, in, in those uh, holding cells. I, I think the investigation goes someone like, uh, you know, balsamic vinegar. I think the investigation goes something like, you know, you've got a bunch of guys there all uh, lining up. And um, 
the police gets them all naked and uh, you know they force the guys you know to uh, to touch each other sexually you know and uh, so as soon as one of the, the suspects get a, an erection uh, that means that he's gay and so he gets arrested and uh, the evidence is used against him in court anyway so uh, the meat is just leave it there like that and uh, what you're gonna do is add a little bit of basilic and uh, sesame seeds. I don't have any more basilic, uh, so I can't really do the whole recipe, but uh, grill sesame seeds and you add them over it. Ideally, it's better if, if uh, it's not uh, frozen, uh, but so you can do it even if it's frozen. Uh, it just takes more time. So um, you, should, you should try it, it's very good. So uh, I'll see you guys later, huh?